What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Forever Stranded Lost Souls. Oh, yeah, guys. So, last episode, we ended up making a draconic bow. We ended up making a draconic staff of power. We empowered these things. Uh, we got them all the way up to the draconic tiers on pretty much everything that I care about. Everything that I don't care about, we didn't touch just because resources and time and things like that. I was just kind of checking the status of our power ball over here, and we are up to 11.5%. Yeah, we got lots of power in there. Oh my goodness, two almost 250 billion RF. That's like so much RF, <laughs> and we're still making more and more all the time. Yeah, may, we could at this point, I think, upgrade to the tier eight that we'll never be able to fill up, which we could do, but again, I think that just doesn't make sense. Uh, so I just got done making some more of these awakened cores. Yeah, but I was going through the quest book here, looking at all these different quests that we haven't done. Uh, our Wyvern Tools quest never completed because apparently in order to complete this, we had to make the sword, the pickaxe, the shovel, the bow, and the axe. And it's a retrieval task, so I don't, I assume this quest wanted us to have all of these at the same time because none of these said complete. So anyway, I went ahead and I remade all of these since they're not like super expensive, uh, and completed that quest. And then our tool upgrades, yeah, I didn't realize there was a quest for all of these different upgrade modifiers, otherwise I would have done that. Uh, so I just made the ones that we didn't have before. Which ones were those? That would have been like the dig AOE, dig speed, and I think there was like the jump and speed, movement speed, like these two. Yeah, I didn't have those made, so we made those and we completed this quest. And Draconic Armor we finished last time. And then I was looking at this one, Draconic Tools. So this one wants us, like the Wyvern one, to have all of the Awakened tools, all of the Draconic tools here. Uh, yeah, that also includes a Draconic Staff of Power. <laughs> um, that's a lot of resources to go into all of this stuff to remake all these tools. Like, I don't think I'm going to do that. So we've made every one of these tools. Uh, I don't know why they didn't say complete as we made them. This detect submit doesn't do anything. I did not make the Draconic Hoe or the Draconic Axe previously. So I just got done crafting those. That's why there's that Awakened Core that I made there. So I made both of these. So we've made all of those items, but it's still not completing. So I'm going to go ahead and manually complete it myself. So we'll do BQ Admin Edit because, yeah, we need to, uh, let's see, we need to click Edit. We need to click overpowered, designer, manually complete, and then click that. Okay, so now that says it's done, even though like it still claims we didn't do it. <laughs> but yeah, that's just so many resources. I'm not going to make all those resources and wait hours again for all the wyvern cores to be made so we can make all the awakened cores and this and that. That's just too much. That's just too much. Anyway, so this is now done. Everything now says complete on there. And we can click claim. Cool. Let's claim the rest of these things. Claim this guy and this one. And that's it. Okay. So we have a few chests here that we can pop open. Would we get ender staff? I think we've gotten that one before. We get air. More of the balls of fur. I don't think we're going to pop those open this time. Infernal chalice. And we get ourselves an infinity catalyst and four neutronium ingots. Now that's interesting. That's something we haven't seen before, I don't think. No, I guess we did. Did we get the uh, Neutronium? Okay, we received this reward once before. It must have been a while ago because I do not remember getting these before. So that's a pretty good reward. Okay, cool. So we'll put those things away. Awesome. Uh, so I kind of wanted to finish up the rest of the quests that we can do in the overpowered section Draconic side. We still need to look at these and we probably should be making these Neutron collectors here very soon. Uh, actually, before we get into the Draconium, let's just take a look at the Neutron Collectors because I know these things work slowly and we're probably going to want a lot of them. Oh boy, okay. So this is Blocks of Iron. That's not bad. Celest or I'm um, not Celestial. Crystal Matrix Ingot. Uh, some Redstone and some Quartz. So that's not like super terrible. I feel like I should make a stack of all of this stuff. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of crystal matrix. Do we have those on auto craft? No. Okay. I feel like we should just make those, set those down and get them collecting neutrons. Cause I feel like we're going to be needing that stuff 
uh, sooner rather than later. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a pattern for the, for these. Uh, so we're probably gonna need a pattern for the diamond lattice. Then we're gonna need to craft one of those so we can make a pattern for these guys. Okay, so we have all of that. Let's put these somewhere, I don't know. We'll put them right here and here, cool. All right, so if I go back into, where was it, this one. Neutron collector. So that was seven, so we need around 700, probably closer to 600 of these things. Let's do 600 crystal matrix. Can we craft 600 of these? We do not have the diamonds available. Maybe I should figure out exact amount and see if we have enough diamonds. It says we're only missing 3,000 of these diamond essence, so that's not like super crazy, but it's still a lot. All right, so it turns out seven stacks of items is actually 448. So crystal matrix, if we do 400, Oops, and 48. Turns out we have enough stuff. <laughs> it does have to craft 5,500 diamonds though. That's a lot of diamond crafting. Uh, and it's gonna use 100,000 bytes of data. So we can't do that. So maybe we'll do like half of that, 224 times two. So crystal matrix 224. And that'll work. So we can queue this up twice and I'll do both of those. Okay, uh, crystal, we'll do 224 again. Whoops, pressing the wrong button here. There we go. And it won't craft that one. No crafting CPUs are available. So I'm curious, are, do we have too many things going here? We only have two, hmm. I was under the impression that our crafting storage that we have was per craft. Maybe it shares a crafting storage uh, between recipes. I would think that we should be able to have two of those going plus our other craft we have going for the draconic cores and then something else, but it won't let me do it. So, okay, we'll just wait for that to finish up and then we will queue up another batch of those things and get those going. Uh, also, I guess we could, in the meantime, do we have that extreme crafting table? I thought we made one of those a while ago. Crafting, yeah, we did. I guess I just put it away. Uh, we should get the rest of the material set up in this thing so we can do this recipe. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to get ourselves a whole lot of iron blocks. Oh my goodness, iron. Uh, well, thankfully we have a whole lot of iron blocks here. We're gonna need a whole lot of redstone and all of that. Let's take a look at this thing one more time. So iron on those corners. Okay, so it's like, we got like this, then we have a space and a block, and then we have these down here, something like that, right? Whoops, probably not like that. Probably like this, and we mirror that on the other side. And then we have another block in the center right here. So something like that. So we need a few more stacks to mirror this properly. Um, and then we need a bunch of redstone in the center, a bunch of quartz. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and fill this all in. It's going to take a minute for me to get all those resources in there. All right, guys. So I went ahead and I crafted up that first 224 crystal matrix ingots. And then I went to craft the second and it was like, no crafting CPUs available. So apparently what the problem was is that it's using too much crafting storage for converting all of the diamond essence into the diamond chunks into the diamonds themselves for that recipe so yeah i i, I was thinking that there was a problem like it was okay doing the 224 but i failed to realize that we already had diamonds that were already crafted so that one was fine but then when i had to craft all of the diamonds it was too much anyway uh so we got all of this done now I had to manually craft the diamonds and then tell it to do the 224 and then it made the second batch of them. So we got all of this done. So we can craft these neutron collectors. Now the question is, if we craft those now, is that gonna break? No, that is what we need to do here. It just wants us to craft one of those, retrieval task. Okay, so we can do this. We'll just craft a full stack of those. It's a lot of resources. Uh, and that completes that quest. All right, cool. So we'll uh, claim it. Oh, this is a choice reward. 
So three piles of neutrons or two loot chests. Let's do the loot chest because we're going to be getting all of the neutrons here very shortly. Uh, so first one, we get some mod fams and a mob masher. That's pretty good, right? Pretty good. Not like the best reward, but it's pretty good. And we get ourselves a heavy plated shield. Okay, so we'll put this stuff away. I don't think we ever got the mob masher. We did, man. We got all these things before. It's been so long that I forgot about it. Okay. Uh, anyway, so the neutron collectors, we're going to want to put somewhere so they can start collecting neutrons. They do not need to be exposed to the sky. You can put them pretty much anywhere. We'll just stick them back here in this corner, I suppose. Like uh, so. And I need my wand. Let's grab the wand. Here we go. This guy. Whoops, got a whole shift. And they're facing the wrong way. No. Rip. And then that one is all by itself. We'll put that in the corner. Uh, I guess we could have made this an 8x8. And then it would have been a full square. In fact, I might do that. Let's just go ahead and remove this side right here. We'll put those along the top edge. All right, we'll do that, that, and that. Whoop, hold shift. There we go. Now we have an 8x8 eight eight of these things. Uh, so these... Every five minutes, I think, is how long this takes. They produce a tiny or a pile of neutrons, right? And then with the pile of neutrons, you put nine of those together to get a neutronium nugget. And then you put nine of these together to get one of these. So you need 81 of the tiny piles to make a neutronium ingot. Yeah, it's kind of expensive. Uh, so we already have the neutronium ingot. I don't remember if we can... Take these down. We can do that. And can we take those down further? We can't. Okay. So that should complete the quest, right? Because it just wanted three. Am I wrong? Yeah, I wanted three neutron. Oh, three neutronium ingots. That's what it wanted. I thought it wanted three piles of neutrons. No, I'm confusing the quest with the other with the reward from the previous quest. Okay, so that's already done. Can I go into the quest book now? Okay, so we'll claim this one. And, oh, 120 Yalorium blocks. That's a lot. Two Neutronium ingots, 87 steel loot chests. I think I'll do two more Neutronium ingots here. Although it doesn't show here. Am I clicking on the right one? I'm going to click on this one a whole bunch of times. Hopefully it works. Claim it. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. We got the two ingots. I think that's probably going to be more important for us because this is just going to take a whole lot of time. Anyway, so now that we got that done, is there anything else that we can do really quick before we move on? Neutronium compressors. Okay, so these, yeah, we'll be looking at that probably sometime in the future. Let's get back to the Draconic Evolution and try and finish this up all the way. So this wanted us to make a Draconic Portal. So these are really good. Uh, you set up portal frames with a dislocated receptacle, and then you put in a dislocator set to whatever point, and whatever goes to the portal goes to that point. So it works really well for like mob spawners. You spawn a whole bunch of mobs, drop them into the portal, and they warp to like the exact spot where your killing device is, right? So that's one use for them. You could set them up like, you know, just regular portals. You walk through them, you get warped to the other side of the base or, you know, whatever. So there's a lot of uses for these things. They're really good. So dislocator receptacle. Let us make one of these. Okay, so it does require wyvern core and draconium infused obsidian. Uh, do we have any of that? Dracoon? Uh, let's just search for obsidian. Yeah, we don't have any of that. And if I remember right, that stuff's a little expensive, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is a wyvern tier. We can do it with obsidian, some draconium, and all of this stuff. We could do this. Hmm. Is this a retrieval task or a crafting task? It is a retrieval task. So what I'm kind of thinking here, uh, the draconium infused obsidian, you can get when you go and kill the Chaos Guardian, inside the island where the Chaos Guardian is, is like a reactor thing where we're gonna get our Chaos Shards and surrounding the Chaos Shards is Draconium Infused Obsidian. I feel like I wanna go and collect that stuff as opposed to making it. Yeah, I don't really wanna craft that seven times. Uh, so we will hold off on this quest for a minute. What about the Draconium Chest? What do we need for this? Okay, so that's not bad. Two Draconic Cores, two Crafting Tables. I think we can do that. Draconic 
cores. Uh, crafting table. We need two of these. Start crafting table. Okay, and then it was five furnaces, I think. Do we not have any furnaces? How do we make furnaces in this mod pack? I have forgotten. Okay, so it is nether furnace. One, two, three, four, five, and then nether brick around that. And we got plenty. Oh, we made six. Okay. Well, that's one too many, but that's fine. Okay, so it's five, two, two, and then a draconium block and a chest. Draconium block. I don't think we have... Oh, we do. I lied. I didn't think we had those in a compacting drawer. We absolutely do. And then a chest. All right, so we got this guy. So now we should have everything good to go. We just need to put that into our infusing thingy over here. So chest goes in the center. We'll split these guys apart since they have to be in their own slots. All right, so we'll do this, 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 and that one. Followed up by two of those, two of these, and one of these. There it goes. Awesome. So that's using a decent amount of power. Does it say what the cost is? Yes, 100 million RF. Huh. All right, so that's a... It's an expensive operation to make this thing, but since we have billions of RF, doesn't really concern us much, right? Okay, so now that that's done, Draconic Draconium Chest, does that complete the quest? It absolutely does. Very good. So let's claim it. So this chest, if you haven't seen this thing before, is pretty good. Um, it's got a huge inventory, as you can see. Very large inventory. Uh, you can craft from the items that are in here. You can set the IO region, so like you can say this row right here is export and this is import. Uh, it's got its own smelting thing that requires RF, and then you can put in upgrades to like speed up the operation, right? So there's a lot of good things about this chest. Oh, and you can also change the chest color too right here. That's cool. Uh, so <laughs> for like some mod packs, this might be a very good early game like mass smelting thing. I don't think we're going to be using it too much in this mod pack. We don't really have a use for it at this point in time, but if something comes up, we'll definitely check it out. All right, so other things. Celestial manipulate Manipulator is another thing that we should do. This will allow us to turn on and off rain or make it night or day or any time in between, which is really good. All right, so that does require us to have an awakened core. Well, we've made plenty of those in the past. Let's grab some wyvern cores we needed. I think it's five wyvern cores, four draconium blocks, and then it's also a star. I just got done making these a little while ago. I have the, the recipe fresh in my mind. All right, so I'll put these guys right here, these guys right there, and there it goes. Okay, I was like, did I do it right? <laughs> All right, so that's going to happen. What else do we need here for the celestial manipulator? That is it. Oh, no, no, no. I guess we don't have a clock. We will have to... I've lost it. It's right there. We will have to craft that. I believe we have a dragon egg in the system. If not, we can craft that up, and we should have everything else. So let's go ahead and craft this guy. Cool. All right, how many eggs do we have? Three more, plus all the dragon egg essence. So, yeah, we got plenty. Did we already have an awakened core? Oh, I guess I had extra awakened cores in here. Hm. Okay. Uh, so Celestial Manipulator, very good, and let's pop this loot chest, some more shell storage, and we'll claim this one, whoops, and we'll open this, Rod of the Skies, hmm, I'm gonna say I don't recall getting that one, but we have, <laughs> okay, every single thing that I don't remember getting we've already gone before, so Celestial Manipulator, this thing is really good, it does require power, which is, you know, easy enough for us to do, uh, we'll grab a flux point. Do we have an extra? We do. Perfect. So flux point, just put that on there. Select the network. Cool. It's got power. Uh, so we can start rain, stop rain, start storm, or go to time, and then switch it to whichever we want. And also you can set redstone. So if it gets a redstone signal, it'll make it morning. It'll make it nighttime. You do midnight, whatever. Like... It's a pretty cool thing, or cycle one full Minecraft date or until redstone signal stops. So you can just have it continue to change time forever. So this thing is pretty cool. I think it works better outside so you can see the full effect in the animation. Is it nighttime outside? 
It says it's daytime. So I guess we could make it nighttime, or if it's raining, we could stop that real quick. Just to kind of check it out. It is neither of these things. So I guess we could make it nighttime just so we can see how this thing works. Uh, so we'll put this right here for now. Obviously not a permanent spot. Place that there and we'll give it power once again. Cool. So we can go to time and just make it like midnight if we want to. So it does a cool little animation. You can kind of see the sun and the moon rotating around. Look up in the sky and watch the time just skipping forward, which is really awesome. And we should see the moon coming up. There it is. And there we go. Midnight. So yeah, this thing is really cool. It's very, very powerful. I like the functionality. And it's also kind of gated to be late game. So it's not like you're in creative mode or whatever where you can just change the time whenever, I guess, cheat mode. Uh, so yeah, we'll just set it to sunrise now. We'll just go ahead and speed it, speed it up just a little bit further. Never have to sleep again. So what you can do, which makes this thing really good, is put like a daylight sensor onto it. And then if the daylight sensor, when it's in reverse mode, so it's checking if it's nighttime, as soon as it gets that first nighttime signal or whatever, you can have it just set the time to sunrise. So it just skips the night every time. Although it is kind of loud, so you probably are going to want to put it... Uh, yeah, you're probably going to want to put it somewhere further away from your base in a chunk loaded area. How powerful is this staff? Can I, like, one shot? No. Two, three... Oh man, look at how many hearts! Okay, so that's really awesome! First time I've got a chance to check out the staff since we upped it. Also, I don't remember... Did we do the attack... Is there an attack option here? No. Attack radius, we can bump that up. So it can do an eight around the thing, so it'll attack a bunch of different mobs, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I was hoping there would be like an attack boost thing in there, but no, I think it's doing enough power as it is. All right, so what we should do at this point, I think, yeah, we should probably look at uh, putting infinity on our bow here so we can shoot without needing arrows. So infinity can be made in this mod pack. Mm -hmm. We need the arcane in sorcery tour, I think is how you pronounce that. Not entirely sure, but yeah, I have ender on a book with that in essence of knowledge. We can make this thing no, no problem at all. So let's go ahead and look at making this guy over here real quick. I'm pretty sure we never made an arcane and source leader, if that's how it is pronounced. So let's try and make this thing. So we already have the machine frame, which is good. We need one of those. And then we needed some gears, I think, right? Constantan gear. Okay, so we have that on auto craft. Cool. So that'll take just a few seconds here to craft up both of those. Perfect. There it is. All right, so then we have the upgrade kit. I don't know if this matters or not. Oh, we already have a resident upgrade kit. All right, well, let's do that. Uh, that guy, this guy. Oh, you can't upgrade it. Upgrade required. Oh, that's an upgrade kit, not the conversion kit. We need the conversion kit. So that's got to craft up all the rest of the pieces. There we go. I thought that's what I was using. There, now the block is updated to, or upgraded to the resonant. So we can put in other items in here. I suppose this looks like this needs power as well. Let's grab power, select the network, that. Okay, so now we need an eye of ender, a pearl, one of those and a blaze powder. That's one of those recipes I think by now I should have already had a pattern for, but we come across recipes all the time that are like that. <laughs> Uh, and then we need a book. Just a regular empty book. All right, so book, pearl, and then we need our Tome of Knowledge, which we can right-click on here, I assume. Yes, we can. Okay, so that is full of Essence of Knowledge. It looks like it is doing a thing here, so that should get us Infinity, which if we put on our bow should allow us to shoot without arrows. I'm pretty sure, although I'm not 100% sure. All right, so there's Infinity. Let's go... Put that on our bow. So that costs four levels. We're fine on levels. So now can we shoot this thing? Oh yeah. Shoot it pretty quickly too. 
So it's recharging its power really fast as well, thanks to the Flux Networks. Um, all right, I think we probably are good to go. We could put, like, Power 4 on there and probably put some sharpness on our Draconic Staff of Power, but honestly, that's only going to up it, like, a little bit of damage. I don't really think it's going to be worth doing. Um, yeah, so the bow, did we upgrade this all the way? Arrow base damage, so we had that at a 9. Again, we could do like explosion shockwave power if we wanted to. I don't think that's really necessary. So the only other thing that we could do at this point before we get going here is try and make ourselves the uh, draconic capacitor. If we want to store a lot more power, I'm not sure if that's going to be necessary to be completely honest. Uh, so that holds 64 million. This one holds 256 and you can upgrade it the, the three times like we do with the RF thing to increase that but is it worth it like we already have unlimited power from our flux network so i kind of feel confident just not doing that and looking at going to the end to try and find a chaos guardian uh let me go ahead and get some things prepared and we'll be right back guys you know thinking about it worst case scenario it doesn't work out and we end up dying Probably what we want to do is soulbound all of our things that are expensive. So if we die, they stay with us and we don't like end up without flight. We don't end up, you know, needing something. Um, so I just made some books here. So we have some extra books. I was looking if there's a way that we can make soulbound, but it does not appear that there is any way for us to craft that book. But thankfully, I've been saving some pieces of armor over time that had soulbound on it. Uh, yeah, so like we have Reaper, which is good if we want to make like a Draconic Evolution mob spawner. We got like Soulbound in all of these different pieces. Some of them have Soulbound 3. I don't understand what the deal is with that. But anyway, let's take care of these gold swords first of all. So we'll just put that into our enchantment enchantment extractor with a book. We'll do that. There's Reaper 4, Unbreaking 3, Soulbound 3. Yeah, again, I don't know if there's any difference between Soulbound 1 and 2 and 3. <laughs> I don't think there would be, right? I mean, it's all like the same thing, huh? Anyway, so we'll just go ahead and extract all the enchantments out there. I'm going to put Soulbound on pretty much everything important, like our armor, our tools, uh, our dislocator, probably wireless crafting terminal, and our ender pouch isn't like super important. We do want it on our dink null. Uh, and I think that's probably about it. But anyway, I'll go ahead and get that done real quick and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so we're in the end. We're trying to head towards a chaos island. They spawn by default, I think, 10,000 blocks away, either like 0, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, or the same in the negative numbers, right? Uh, you can modify that, so it might be every 5,000 blocks. But as I'm flying out here, I'm uh, kind of regretting that I did not put movement speed on my pants yeah uh i wasn't really thinking about it at the time it's like oh we move around fast enough there's no real reason but yeah this is a reason right here if you got to go out ten thousand blocks and you're only going you know like 100 blocks a second or 50 blocks a second whatever it is that we're going maybe even 25 like it's gonna take a minute for us to get there so yeah that's probably gonna be one of the things that i do when we get back and we have some extra resources i'll put movement speed on this armor all right, guys, so we're approaching a kiosk island. It is uh, 10,000 blocks over here. You can kind of see this different terrain forming in front of us. Yeah, uh, it doesn't show the kiosk guardian name yet, but very first thing I want to do, let's just add a new... Oh, those cave noises. Uh, let's just call it kiosk island, and then we'll commit it, lock it. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to try and fight this thing. If it turns out it's doing too much damage and we need the capacitor, we will warp home. We'll just use this thing. I do have Soulbound 3, not that it really matters, on all of our different pieces of armor. Uh, we have it on our tools. I was not able to put Soulbound on our Ender Pouch. I was not able to put it on um, our Dank Knoll. It wouldn't let me do that. So I have everything that is important that isn't Soulbound in the pouch. Uh, and then I made a new pouch. So if we do die and we lose that, we can just, you know, open it up when we're back at our base. I was not able to soul bound our wireless crafting terminal. So that'll be devastating if we end up losing this thing. Uh, so I guess that we should put into the pouch as well. Uh, all right. So I think we're pretty much good to go here. Let's, let's go spawn in the chaos guardian and see what we can do. 
probably what I should do first of all <laughs> is turn down the sound. Oh, we already have hostile creatures turned down. Okay, good. So Chaos Guardian. So the way this fight works is like the Ender Dragon fight, except a little bit more difficult. There's the Chaos Guardian right there. Okay, so our shield is recovering just fine. That's one of the things I was concerned about. Uh, let's actually go back. One second. We'll go back here. Ah, so all this stuff spawned in. Oh, the dragon's coming over here? I was hoping... No, I wanted to set our waypoint, like, outside of the range of the Chaos Guardian. Okay, so let's set it, like, over here. Yeah, all that stuff wasn't spawned in previously. So let's do this. We'll unlock it. We'll say set here, and then we'll lock it again. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to set our Draconic Staff of Power. I want to change this up a little bit. So I want this thing to be uh, AoE Dig Mode. I want it to be 5x5, five five, and I want the Dig Depth all the way up. So 5x5x5, five five five, Safe Mode, off. All right, so now we can use this thing. Uh... Yeah, we can use this to get rid of all the stuff around the crystals that we have to destroy. The dragon is invulnerable unless you get rid of these things. It's not like the normal dragon fight. Alright, so these we can just hit. Some of those we might need to walk up to and get rid of all the blocks around it. Okay, so here is also where the movement speed would come in handy. Oh boy. Okay, that's doing damage. I need I need to peace out. Wow. That took me all the way down to one half a heart? How did I not die? Oh boy. Okay, so for this fight, we absolutely need movement speed. Uh, I'm not sure how I didn't die, though. I went down, like, so many hearts so quickly. Wow. Okay, so movement speed is very important. We need to get away from the dragon. We need to stay in... F we need to stay... In front of its balls that it's shooting out or whatever those are. Those drain your shield, and apparently they eat your health, like, super fast. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, we gave it a try. <laughs> we didn't die, which is awesome. I'm not sure why we didn't die. Uh, Maybe the armor still had more power on it, and, like, until the power runs out, we don't die. I honestly don't know. Anyway... Uh, yeah, we need to get ourselves the movement speed thing mm -hmm, and get that hooked up. But unfortunately for today, we are out of time. I was really hoping they would be able to take down the Chaos Guardian today and get this all knocked out. But yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, I'm bleeding apparently. Huh. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.